Right. It's never been an easy time of the year. But, uh, you know, life has to go on, Peter. And uh, I found a good man, been married 44 years. So evidently, you know. But it, it's still, it's still uh, you do a lot of thinking during this time. You think, well, what, what would I have changed? I would have changed nothing. I might have changed him going on the airplane ride. But other than that, probably nothing. But we had a 15 month, 14, 15 month old son, and I was eight months pregnant again. And I remember the morning that Hawk left, he said he bent over the baby's crib and said, I want another one just like that. And when I delivered the second son, it, it, was, uh, it was good. It was a good thing. Kathy Copas called me about uh, six or seven o'clock, and I was giving my son, he was only about 14, 15 months old, I was giving him a bath, and we had a big kitchen with a big sink in it. And uh, I've never told this too many times, but about seven o'clock or so, I don't know, remember exactly what time it was, but again, to get dusky dark. And I was, had him up, and I was giving him a shower, a, a bath, and the most horrible feeling come over me that has ever come over me in my life. It was just, I just stood for a couple of minutes and just kind of was kind of froze. I just couldn't move. I thought, boy, and I thought I was going into labor because I was eight months pregnant. And I thought, oh my God, I'm here by myself. And, uh, but that was about the time the plane crash happened. And I was then about nine or 10 o'clock, I went ahead and laid down because I was very tired, eight months pregnant. And the phone rang and it was a woman in Minnesota who was one of his fan club representatives. And she said, and by this time it was probably 10 o'clock or so, he, she said, what are you doing? And I was really irritated at the woman because she woke me up. And I said, I'm doing whatever Southern does about 10, 11 o'clock. I said, I'm in bed asleep. She said, are you really? And I said, yeah, what's the matter with you? And she said, you haven't heard. I knew what it was. Nobody had to tell me. I knew that there had been an accident. It was a horrible, horrible two or three days. And a lot of people think that during this time that I've hated Patsy Cline. Now that's not the story at all. I resented the way that it was presented that like she was the only person on that airplane. And if that's wrong, I'm sorry, but I, I had my reasons and I think if they would put themselves in my position, they'd understand.